Okay. Yeah, yeah, I wanna, patience, man. yeah, definitely want to get a shot of this guy and the dog on oh. the bike. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, you too. We're behind a dog and a guy on a bike. I wish I could get a great side view. Maybe we can here. Oh, he's going that way. Say goodbye to your puppy friend. We're going into town for a second. I ran out of water last night. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna have any water for coffee in the morning. <clears throat> I don't wanna go without my coffee. Um, so it's like, I don't know, maybe eight in the morning. It's not too early. I feel like it's 7 a.m. Um, it looks like it's 7 a.m. out. It feels like it's 7 a.m. It does not feel like it's 8 already. I'll tell you what, you get in and out really fast at 8 in the morning. Um, only that one van was in front of us, and honestly, they were going pretty slow. I think they must have been looking for something, because <clears throat> they just pulled over and were kind of like, hey, go ahead. But, um, yeah, it took us a total of like two minutes to get from the camping spot all the way out to <laughs> Mitchell Mine Road. I went down to one of the seminars today. I can't remember which one it was, but one of the guys on stage asked everyone if they had seen a UFO and like 10 or 15 hands shot up. And so now this is one or two of the stories of who had seen something. When he asked the question, I immediately got my camera out. I knew somebody was gonna see something. Of course, can't ask van lifers that question and not be prepared for a potentially crazy story. Maybe one more. Who else seen a UFO? I was a young boy, about 14 years old, living in a residential community in Canada. And uh, 4 o'clock at night, 4 o'clock in the afternoon in the summertime, this silver object came up from behind some clouds, traveling slowly about the speed of a helicopter across the sky. And uh, after 10 seconds, 15 seconds, it changed directions 90 degrees and left in a really fast hurry, about as fast as a jet. And uh, all that week there was reports of UFOs to the local radio station and a little contest for the first person that would have reported it would have won some money. But uh, it was it was common all that week. There was sightings going on. We came down to the small car travelers car show, check out some of the cool stuff. There was definitely um, some pretty neat neat ideas that people had. Starlight Solar, I believe, is the company who sold it to me. Um, well, I'm, I'm throwing a blank on the battery name, but they're they're very distinct looking. Um, they're like look like a spaceship. They got two orange ends with like a metal casing around them. Oh, I see. So that's um, all up here then. Uh, no, it's the, the battery itself sits actually right on top of the water. Like you can actually rig. see that, that black bubble there. That's my four by four lifted to Mercedes. I wouldn't say that this thing is like stealthy. Um, I was just talking to the guy who said he's lived in here like a year now. He's selling it, and he's gonna do another one. That's fun doing them, I guess. I think it'd be a blast. This one's fucking dope. For sale. Check it out. If you want it, hit them up. I'm trying to block the sun with my hand as much as possible. Um, I don't live in Austin. I live in Austin. And so I just, 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 I
This lady was saying she's 68 years old. She hopped up in that hole right there. Like, she was kind of Just stand up on this and then get up there. There were so many really cool Prius builds. Hot water heater up there for the shower. That's cool. These Prius builds are pretty neat. This Astro van is pretty awesome too. My buddy Sebastian, thank you. I don't know how many watts those are, maybe 60 a piece? 75 maybe? I don't think they're hundreds. So most of everything on is about 10. It's 10 gauge, except for what's running on the battery to the inverter is 4 gauge. And what's running from the alternator to the battery is also 4 gauge. Are there 10? One's a fridge and one's a freezer. One's a fridge and one's a freezer. I couldn't really get a good view inside once I came back here with the camera, but that guy had like a cool little command center inside that Astro van. This is really cool to have like a homemade hot water heater on top <clears throat> where the car top carrier would be. That's a really good cushion. They've got a huge uh, four rating or four, four and a half star rating. Um, so if you have the van height, I'd go with the six inch because it has like memory foam on it. But you can buy any size of bed that you want. So I got a twin XL because it gave me a little bit wider. And then I took a thread puller and it actually separated it because it was a folded mattress. But I didn't want to put it on it. Why? The organization on these Priuses is amazing. All right, well, I think I'm going to walk over to the Par TR next door here while the sun's about to set. RTR camp. Kit called that little bus there the Farkle table because there's a bunch of crazy cameras. <laughs> Just at the bonfire now. We're gonna go check on Jackson, make sure he's doing okay. After checking on Jackson, we just kind of hung around the neighbor's bonfire and then uh, called it a night. All right, thanks, guys.